Welcome to another Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The largest hands-on RV training academy in America. Hey, before we get to the video, which I know this is the reason why you're here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. Hit the subscribe button now. Thank you. Now, back to our Tech Tip Tuesday. Welcome back to the Tech Tips from the National RV Training Academy. We have Santa Todd this week, this whole month. Three amazing Tech Tips. Ho, ho, Santa. and how you doing, people? Yeah, I am uh, Tony Snowman. And uh, I'm Santa Todd. Todd has taken a well-deserved vacation, so I'm stepping in for him, answering your questions. Hit me up, Tony Man. All right. First question is from Tony Gareth, 221. My fridge is on propane. Trailer has been used for over a year, and it started to cool, but then stopped cooling, and the fridge light says, check now. I have not cleaned anything out or done any maintenance. I just tried to see if it works. Not sure what to do. Uh, first, check your propane. It's been a year. I'm sure you're out. Well, Next question. All right. No. Could be propane. Could be... Yeah, so if it's been sitting a year as well, even if you do have propane, whenever you heat up that flue burner or the flue tube, you're going to have uh, rust uh, that will come out. So when it says check, it could be that it's not even igniting. So yes, you need to get to the back of the refrigerator, take off the grill there and do a visual inspection over by the burner assembly to find out is there obstructions in the way? Maybe, just maybe. Uh, there's going to be uh, some type of insect or remnants of insects that are there. Propane moves at 0.4 PSI um, out, which is not enough to even move the human hair. So if there's a, a fly, a dead fly in the tube or something like that, it's not going to work. So definitely get a visual, but also check your propane. And if it's too damn cold outside, pee on your tank. Yeah, I think the check now light does have something to do with propane, right? Because I remember mine did back when I was a little ice cube. Right. Um, I think it had something to do with not igniting or something. Well, you were a Sonic ice cube then. I, I, oh, I just got one of those GE Profile ice cube makers. Oh, man. A great Christmas wish list. There we go. All right, this is from... Doesn't work really good for scotch, though, because it just melts real quick. Yeah. All right. Uh, Maybe a carrot. Vito Conjuring Jr., 3283. I just added the Victron Multi Plus 2, 2 times 120. I was informed to unplug the converter from the rig, from the rig house panel to prevent it from charging the batteries, as the Victron will now do that. When I unplugged the converter and turned off the battery disconnect next to the panel in the rig, I lost all 12 volt power. I switched the battery disconnect back on and still no 12 volt power. I tested everything and found all voltages correct except for 12 volt, uh, 12 volt voltage entering the main panel that was at zero. When I plugged the converter back in, I did get back the 12 volts in the rig house panel. Any suggestions? Yeah, it sounds like your batteries that are going to the inverter are not connected to your 12 volt uh, system inside the RV. Okay, if you did attempt to do that, whether you did it or not, is there a separate disconnect or is there a separate fuse that may be blown? Kind of simple here. You just if you want to, if you only have one set of batteries, you know, say, and you've got them connected over to the inverter, you also need another run, run another cable over to your 12 volt distribution panel inside the RV. And I'll bet you'll have power. Mm. I bet. I bet. That's all there's the questions. Your tech tip. And there's your tech tip. Hey, we want to thank you for a wonderful 2024. Expect to see you 2025. Mm -hmm. And send in those questions. And I'm sure when Todd comes back, he'll be more than happy to answer your questions here. Thank you, Tony Man. You're welcome, Todd. St uh, Santa Todd. All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors, and now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, Go ahead and click the link below. Or if you just want to learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to rvtechcourse.com and get started today. Now for the reason that you're at the end of the video, roll the bloopers. You should go, there's your tech tip. And there's your tech tip.
And there's your tech tip. Ready? And the and the, and the. <laughs> ready? <laughs> yep. And Tony Manthorn gang signs. North Pole gang signs. Oh yeah, this is this is our gang sign here. I thought it was this. I wonder if you can digitally recreate this, make this <laughs> into a snowball. Where do you get your snowballs? R right here. Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> All right, and then you gotta act like you get hit. That was a long way. <laughs> All right, did you turn off your North Pole communication device? That's right. All right. But where's Santa? Where's Santa? I have tiny fingers. I have to. It doesn't work. You have to use your nose. I'm gonna go cross-eyed though. Oh, yeah, that does work. Ho, ho, and how you doing? That does work well. I got tiny hands. I need a little bitty Big Mac.